but he is not tired in assisting as a peace officer. Right now, as I'm talking to you, I can mention more than 100 names that chief assisted them all over Nigeria, not only in the north, but all over Nigeria, in the east, in the west, in the south, south, in the north central, in the north east, in the northwest. I know them. And all of them, they were asking, what is chief? What is chief? Chief is a leader. We always listen to chief. When we were meeting, there was a day from the hall, I ran chief. I said, your evil people will never succeed in their ambition for presidency without your words. Come and tell the North, this is what you want. They will support. But those two things that they know, they are in front, in front. Have they achieved anything? No. We are still waiting for Chief to give an order. Once Chief says this, the whole country will answer. I wish, I wish Chief Iwanyang long life, good health, and prosperity. I will never forget him in my life. I will never. It is staggering to comprehend that he spent millions upon millions of Naira during the entire campaigning activities within the NRC. Well, at this time, some ethnic factors dictated how the scenario later played out. During the Abacha administration, Chief Iwayama was given the privilege to nominate some ministers. This respect grew with time, such that many political bigwigs today were mentioned by Chief Iwayama. Chief Iwayama veered again for the post of President of Nigeria in 1997, but later stepped down to veer for a seat in Senate. The third and last time that Chief Iwayama veered for President was in 1998 under the All People's Party APP. The ethnic card was played yet again in Nigeria and this resulted to a wheel of the wisp. For some years, Chief Iwayao flew the flag of Ndibo in the People's Democratic Party. He was a life member of Board of Trustees and a member of the National Caucus of the Party representing the entire Southeast Zone. He was also a member of NBC, National Executive Committee of PDP. He served as Chairman of Ohanese Ndibo State Creation Committee, Chairman Ohanese Political Committee, Chairman Ohanez Ndibo Planning and Strategy Committee, Board Chairman Federal Road Maintenance Agency, Board Chairman Nigerian Investment Promotion, Founding Chairman Raw Materials Research and Development Council of Nigeria, Chairman National Productivity Merit Award, Chairman Nigerian Sports Development Council, Founding Chairman Nigerian National Lottery, Chairman National Orthopedic Hospital, Ibubi, Lagos, Pro Chancellor, University of Calabar, and presently Chairman Council of Elders Ohanese in Dibu worldwide, just to mention but a few. Chifiwanyangu has the following academic qualification: SC Honors, Civil Engineering, University of Nigeria and Soka, Doctor of Science, Engineering, Morgan State University, Baltimore, Maryland, USA, LD Honors. Shaw University, Raleigh, North Carolina, United States of America. 
DBA Honours, University of Nigeria, Nsoka, Doctor of Science Honours, University of Jos, Doctor of Science Honours, University of Kalaba, DTech, Federal University of Technology, Oweri, DBA Honours, Edo State University, and Doctor of Science Honours, Engineering, Imo State University. Chief Iwanyamu established Iwanyamu Foundation, a foundation which has trained over 3,000 people in higher institutions of learning in Nigeria and abroad. The Iwanyamu Foundation also has made substantial financial contributions to many universities in Nigeria. For example, in his alma mater, the University of Nigeria, he built the Children's Center. He has also made substantial contributions to various development projects in communities and churches. He contributed substantially towards the building of Imo airports. Out of his concern for the youth's unemployment in Nigeria, Iwanyamu Foundation entered into partnership with various national and international organizations to train Nigerian graduates and youths on skill acquisition that will enable them get finances to establish their own businesses. In recognition of his selfless services to humanity, Chief Dr. Emmanuel Chukwemakai Wanyangu is a recipient of an avalanche of international and national awards and titles including Aheji Jemba Ndibu, conferred on him by chairman of traditional rulers representing the seven Iwo states of Nigeria. He has also received so many traditional titles from other parts of the country. For example, he is the Balogun Babagua of Ibadan land, an honor bestowed on him by the Olubadan of Ibadan land. The Yobang of Kalaba honored him with the highly respected traditional title of Obang Owana Ethic Eburutu of Ethic Kingdom. He was the first Nigerian alumnus of University of Nigeria to be honored with Aloha, alumnus of high achievement. He also received the Namdi Ezekiwe Leadership Award in 2016. He has been honored by our graceful country, Nigeria, with national honors three times. The awards are Member, Federal Republic of Nigeria, MFR, Officer, Federal Republic of Nigeria, OFR, and Commander, Federal Republic of Nigeria, CFR. Chief Iwanyang is a man who loves sports. In 1984, the Spartan Football Club was in heavy debts and its owner, the Imo State Government, was concerned. Players were deserting the club in large numbers and workers' salaries were being owed. Through the prodding of Prince Lemi Akakem, Chief Emmanuel Iwanyang volunteered to buy over the football club from the Imo State Government. He did so and renamed it Iwanyangu National Football Club in 1985. I used to take the Iwanyangu National out to play a couple of matches in Africa, West Africa, on his behalf. And um, I have enjoyed being with him because he's a fantastic man. You know, I cannot say he has changed. He's still the man I know. He's a very nice man, very considerate man in dealing with you, and very good-natured and good-hearted person. 1981, I became chairman of the board of Spartan Football Club, uh, Old Imo State. After about four or five years, the government couldn't fund the club again, and they approached if he wanted to take over the club because they. The club was dying and almost disbanding. So Chief Iwayangu now took it over. He asked me to take the players to Brazil. That he has watched them play football, they need to be trained. I went with 42 players and eight officials to Rio de Janeiro, where the players were trained and coaches were retrained. And it became the toast of Nigeria. Chief Emmanuel Iwayangu is a wonderful philanthropist. As far back as 1985, he issued a check of the whopping sum of 2 million naira to the Imo state government for the construction of the Imo airport. This was at a time the naira was stronger than the dollar. Chief Iwanyang purchased six aircrafts and established the Orenta airline 
which helped businessmen in business flights to and fro the southeast using the Imo Airport. In 1985 also, Chief Iwana built, equipped and donated a blood transfusion center to the Imo state government. Chief Iwanyang also donated 30 million naira towards the building of the Imo State University. From 1978, Chief Iwanyang donated generously to the University of Nigeria and Soka by establishing and building from scratch a children's center library named after his mother, Mrs. Holder Iwanyang.